G's and welcome back to G Free with friends and family. And if you're new here, welcome. If you like what you see, subscribe, click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my downloads. Um, today we're going to be making a juice. And now this juicer I bought sometime, let's see, late spring, early summer, and I've never used it. I took it out of the box and it's almost as if I was afraid to use it. And I specifically bought it to make this juice that I'm going to make today that is supposed to be good for your immune system health and your digestive health. And it may even, I'm not sure, but I think I remember it saying that it helps you lose weight too. So in the juice today, I'm going to have a half of a small pineapple. That's, you know, whole oh, I sliced it up already. Um, and this is a fresh pineapple, uh, not something that I got out of the can. It's about an inch of ginger and one lemon. Turn the juicer on. And throw everything in. Here's the ginger. Put the lemon in there. And the rest of the pineapple. Now the enzymes in fresh juice are supposed to last like three days. So this is going to make me a three day supply of juice. And it might even give me enough to share with the coordinator. Now the dry pulp comes out you know, some, some juices, this is a slow masticating juicer, which means that because it dry, it um, grinds up everything slowly, the, um, the enzymes are supposed to stay alive because there's no heat. When the juices go really, really fast, they create heat and that kills off all the good stuff in the juice that you're juicing. So, and if this had been carrots, like let's say I had made carrot juice with this I would have been able to use this stuff coming out as um you know in a muffin or something and that would have been good I'm gonna try that I have carrots in the refrigerator as a matter of fact maybe tomorrow I'll make carrot muffins okay so this looks like it's about finished I'm gonna turn this off Put that there to catch anything. And I've gotten over a half a cup of juice. So this is really good. Yeah, this is gonna be enough to share with the, uh, the coordinator for three days. I'll meet you over in the studio and we can see how it tastes. Okay, this is how much juice I got out of all of that. Um, It's a little more than half a cup. This is my shot glass from somewhere in Mexico. Oh, Riviera Maha. No, Riviera Maya? Maja? I don't know. Mexico. My friend Sandy brought this back from her vacation. Not this year, but you know. <laughs> So this is more than a shot, I'm sure. And the rest of this I'm gonna put in, in a container and that should be enough for another two days. So I should be good. Now, let's hope it tastes good. The pineapple was really sweet. 
ginger is a little spicy and you know lemon is tart but I'm gonna drink it anyway and I'll let you know how it is oh my goodness it's spicy but it's good I could definitely drink this every morning and we'll see what it does for me oh this might make a nice little cocktail too <laughs> anyway you gotta try it if you have a juicer try it I thought the whole lemon was gonna be a bit much I'm not much ginger but that was good it was about an inch of ginger like maybe a thick a thick piece of ginger and one inch and I used one well to make the juice one half of a small pineapple and one lemon regular sized lemon that was really good I could actually drink all of this but I won't because it's supposed to be a three-day supply I'm gonna put the rest of my um Put the rest of my pineapple in the freezer. Now I have to look up to see if the enzymes will stay alive once it's frozen. But if they don't, I could just always make a yummy drink, yummy smoothie with that. So this was good. I really enjoyed this. Well, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Be kind. No. Always remember to count your blessings. Be a blessing to somebody else and be kind to yourself. Until next time.